this works, it'll change shit. Everything I did was for Sherry. Doesn't make it right or something that should be forgiven, but it's the truth. Only one I got left. She's the one that let you out, then she ran. She's out here. Somewhere. Now. Hey guys, Q here. In this video, I'll be breaking down the character Sherry from The Walking Dead along with her possible return. With that being said, major warning of spoilers for everything in the show up to Season 8, Episode 11, and let's jump right into this. Alright, so people have been speculating Sherry's return for some time now, but are just now recently starting to get more mention of her. Ever since the back half of Season 7, Sherry has been MIA after running away from Negan and the Sanctuary. Dwight ended up returning to their house to find a note left by her, but she decided not to wait for him out of fear that she couldn't trust him. So, our first recent mention of her was shown briefly in episode 811 when the Alexandrians were walking with Dwight to the swamp in that forest. Dwight says that although he doesn't expect to be forgiven for what he's done, everything he did was actually for Sherry to keep them safe. Dwight tells Daryl that she was the one who let him out, and then she ran away. We've known this for a while, but I guess this is their first chance to actually take a moment and discuss what's happened. The conversation ends with Dwight saying that he hopes that she's still out here somewhere, and he may in fact get that wish granted. I want more real conversations like this in The Walking Dead. Less poetic deep dialogue with double meanings, and more of just characters talking the way that real people actually would. Epic speeches and standoffs do work when they are few and far between, but Recently, the show has been overflowing with pretentious dialogue and it has definitely been turning people off. Hopefully season 9 will bring back more realistic dialogue, but before I get too carried away with my ramblings, let's continue on with our discussion about Sherry. So why bring up Sherry, and why now? I guess it's nice to see that Dwight hasn't completely forgotten about her, and this could be brushed off as simple small talk, but small talk hardly exists in this show anymore. As I said, it makes sense that Dwight would update Daryl on something like this, especially when they're on the same team and have some downtime while they're walking, but everything said on the show is said for a reason, at least in the writer's perspective, all the dialogue has meaning. Yes, the dialogue could use some work, but that's another topic for another time. So, when you take a look at the descriptions for episodes 812 and 813, both episodes we get to see unexpected visitors arrive at the hilltop. There are many fair predictions as to who they may be, but is it possible that Cherry could arrive there as well? It's true that they just may be discussing the Alexandrians arriving due to the hilltop not having enough food for them all, or maybe the saviors eventually attacking the hilltop, but I feel like Cherry will have some sort of part in the season before it's finished. If Sherry arrives at the hilltop, maybe she could bring something useful to the war somehow. Like maybe weapons or intel or medicine for Gabriel or even Rick when maybe the Dwight crossbow moment happens in the comics. Maybe Dwight will see Sherry at the hilltop and something will happen there, maybe Negan will spot her. Who knows, and so I was originally just going to end the video there, but after taking a look at the third sneak peek for episode 812, we have yet another reference to Sherry. So feel free to check out the full breakdown of the sneak peek, but right now we'll just be focusing on the parts related to Sherry. Dwight is shown thinking in his room after he gets back home to the sanctuary, and he pulls out Sherry's half-smoked cigarette and their wedding rings. Dwight is in the middle of war right now, and his position could be given up at any moment considering he's playing both sides if Savior Laura shows up due to her knowing the truth about him. His life is in danger no matter what side he is currently surrounded by, maybe he'll randomly get caught by Negan, maybe Taro will randomly kill him, so he's definitely thinking about the one person that got him into this mess, Sherry. Now don't get me wrong, it was Dwight's idea to turn around and go back to Negan after he saw Daryl in that burned down forest in Season 6, and so they're at the Sanctuary in Season 7 because of Dwight, and I bet he is really regretting that decision right about now. That being said, I feel like Dwight reminding us all of her is just so that she can return in an episode or two. They could just be bringing her up as a slow burn for season 9, but I feel like it's more likely that they are reminding us of her character to have her appear before season 8 is over. So what happens if she does reappear? Will this help the rebellion or just screw over Dwight? What reason could she even possibly have to return? She got away, she's safe, right? Why would she want to come back? Maybe she just loves Dwight that much? I don't know. Dwight told Negan that he 
killed Sherry though, so if she returns before the end of All Out War and Negan sees her, he'll instantly know that Dwight was lying to him and turn on him if he hasn't already. Sherry could potentially blow his cover if it's not blown already by the time she reappears, and I don't think it's Sherry's intentions to blow his cover, but it could happen. Sherry's way more kind, caring, and considerate than in the comics, so I don't think that she'd want to purposely screw over Dwight if she did return for some reason, but let me know what you guys think. Will Sherry return for season 8, or will they wait for her to return until season 9? I definitely feel like her character is going to come back at some point, I'm just not sure when. Feel free to leave any theories or predictions down in the comments below, but that's pretty much it for the video guys. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as it really helps me out more than you can imagine by getting my videos out there for more people to see. Subscribe for more Walking Dead Season 8 content in the near future, and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos, consider checking out my Patreon where there's a bunch of different rewards involving the channel, such as getting your name shown at the end of my videos, along with the chance to directly influence the videos being produced. It isn't necessary by any means, but it could really help in the long run. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!